So Adam Gase made some very, very interesting comments the past couple of days in Orlando talking about the Miami Dolphins, the moves that they made, and the people that they acquired uh, from free agency and then now going into the draft. And this is very interesting because the draft is upcoming very, very, very quickly. And he talked about, and, you know, there was some Mike Tannenbaum and Steve, uh, you know, Stephen Ross stuff as well. But eh. so we're talking about Adam Gase specifically. And I thought it was very interesting what he said because he was talking, you know, he talked about Mayfield and how he liked his personality. Uh, and he talked about how this well, one thing that really just kind of stuck out to me the most, which is the one I want to hit on. The Really the only point uh, out of everything he talked about that I want to hit on during this video is how he mentioned how. There was a lot of BS that happened last season in the locker room that the new alpha dogs in the locker room will not let happen. And I found that very alarming because you brought in guys like a Frank Gore, guys like a Danny Amendola, guys like a Josh Sitton who will help Cameron Wake in controlling that locker room and making sure that there's not the same BS that Adam Gase said was going on last season. Um, this is something that's very interesting and very important to talk about and to be on the same page with because... You don't want what happened last year happening this year. Whether you like Adam Gase or not, whether you want to stay a Miami Dolphins fan or not, he has a plan and he is the right coach for the Miami Dolphins. He hasn't shown us that he's, you know, the same guy as Joe Philbin, the same guy as everyone we've had before that. You know, he's not going to upfront leave us like Nick Saban. I'm not taking the Alabama job. I think Adam Gase wants to be a Miami Dolphin for life. And, it, you know, that's a that's a really alarming and interesting term. But I think that Adam Gase is very interested in coaching the Dolphins up to a Super Bowl. You've seen by what, you know, what he said, what people have said about him, that he's staying up trying to fix all the issues they have. The fact that him and Chris Greer are working to make sure that this team doesn't have the same cap holds, doesn't have the same personalities that are going to conflict and make problems in the locker room. They are trying their best to take this roster to a complete 360 and make it into something that should be better than what it was last year. Whether you like it or not, whether you like the talent on the field or not, he has a vision. Obviously, Chris Greer has a vision. And if you don't trust Gase, you got to trust Chris Greer because he's one of those guys that's a football guy. He might be an executive now as general manager, but he worked his way up. And he is a football guy, just like Adam Gase worked his way up, and they are football guys. We have football guys running the Miami Dolphins organization right now in terms of the two-head position. You do have Mike Tannenbaum. You do have Steven Ross, and obviously they're buddy-buddy, and that's another situation for another day. But whether you like the moves or not, whether you like Jarvis Landry getting traded or not, whether you like Indomitian Sue getting released or not, they made moves to try to make their team better, and obviously Adam Gase loves it. And if Adam Gase loves it, we should love it. Whether we want to or not, because I am one who did not want to let go of Indomitian Sue. I loved Indomitian Sue. I thought, you know what? Is he worth $26 million? Not a chance. I don't think anybody's worth $26 million unless your name is Tom Brady or Peyton Manning. Even Brett Favre or Joe Montana. Jerry Rice, hell, he's even worth $26 million. Whether you want to believe it or not, Bo Jackson, Barry Sanders, Walt Payton. But the point is, is that you're not a lot of people are worth $26 million. I'm talking about worth, not what the market will pay them, what they are actually worth. And I liked Sue a lot. Did I agree with him leaving? No, I really didn't like it. And now he's on the Rams and it makes it worse for us and for the NFC. But I'm going to follow the vision of my coach until he does something to show me, to show the entire fans, to show the media that he is absolutely batshit crazy. Till he gets fired, I will follow my coach. I like the hiring when it happened. Look, I've even said, because people have questioned, oh, you're a Ryan Tannehill lover. If they need to get rid of Ryan Tannehill, if they feel the need to get rid of Ryan Tannehill, then they feel the need to get rid of Ryan Tannehill, and I will follow my coach, and I will trust my coach. So, yeah. Either way, I'll see you guys next time. And as always, peace.